Reply sa Soberano, naghahabol sa pelikulang Hello Love Goodbye. Catherine Bernardo nag-trending, fans pumalag. I wanted to do that movie so bad, but then they were like, there's another project lined up for the both of you. Tapos, while we were doing Bagani, nabalitaan ko that they offered it to Catherine and Alden. Showbiz Top PH May bearing pa ba ang expose ni Liza Soberano na sa kanila unang ini-offer ni Enrique Hill ang pelikulang Hello Love Goodbye na pinagbidahan ni na Catherine Bernardo and Alden Richards at highest grossing Tagalog film na napanood noong 2019 pa? Parang too late na rin naman dahil ano pa bang pwedeng mangyari sa pag-amin niya? Tutuusin Gina justify lang ni Liza ang mga action niya sa kasalukuyan pero bakit kaya hindi yung mga future project ang ay latag niya sa fans? Anyway, sinabi nga ni Liza sa interview ni Bea Alonzo sa kanyang YouTube na gusto niyang gawin ang nasabing pelikula that time. I was like, why did they do that? I asked them to save the project for me and Ken. Parang, please wait for us. Cause they told us din, nung pinich sa amin na hindi pa pwedeng gawin agad kasi they have to develop it more. And so I was like, we'll wait for it. Please hold it for us. And then nalaman ko na lang bigla na they were offering it to Ken Steele, but with Catherine. And I was scared that like, after bag ani and then when I do dar na wala na yung list Ken. For me, I didn't want to do that to the fans but also Ken was my comfort zone. So later I realized, oh my god. Ang dami kong hindi nagawa sa career ko and that's why everybody, I think takes for granted my talent or acting capabilities, because they're only see me in a love team, pag ami ni Liza na lately ay active sa mga interview. Pero yon nga, maibabalik pa ba ang nakaraan na? Agad namang napareact ang fans ni Catherine at pinaalalang iba ang atake sa karakter ni Joy as Catherine at Ethan A. Alden kung di sila ang mga naging bida sa nasabing pelikula. Si Joy ay isang OFW sa Hong Kong na nagtiis sa hirap na hindi raw babagay kay Liza kung nagkataon. Your popularity blew up dahil sa Forevermore. Did you expect that the show will be successful? No. Really? Even with the Kathy? Because I didn't understand showbiz like that before. I don't know, because I saw that there were shows that, like, honestly, Ken used to do with other yeah. female celebrities of my batch. And, like, some of them took off, some of them didn't. So, I didn't know if I was going to be that case mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm going to know forever more. Yeah, I think it's one of my days. favorite uh, projects to date. <laughs> Next. Kathniel, Liz Ken, JD. These are the three of the most popular love teams of your generation. Were you ever pressured because the media keep on comparing you three? Yes. But honestly, it's not because of the media. It was more of like... Um, the fans. Not the fans even. It became like a competition of who could make more... Um, hits. Hits, yeah. I guess. Especially with movies. I don't see it as a healthy competition when money is involved. Next question. Does it bother you when fandoms keep, keep pitting you against one another? Yes. Do they until now? To be honest, I don't know. I stay off of social media. Hindi ka nagbabasa ng comments? No, I don't read comments. I don't go on Twitter anymore. I had an addiction to Twitter, actually. I had, I had an addiction to reading hate comments or anything negative about me. Yeah, cause and then what would you do? Cry after? No, I would try to fix myself to accommodate them. Right. Yeah. It's like, hindi ako nasa sad, but it, it helps me fix myself and right. become uh -huh. what they want me to become. And, and you're searching for like their validation. Yeah. 
Next question. Do you think that your career opportunities were limited because nakahon ka sa isang love team? Yes. Bilis. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba yung mga gusto mong gawin na hindi mo nagawa because you were part of a love team? At the time when I was in a love team, hindi ko naisip na problema siya. Actually, yung Hello Love Goodbye ni Catherine and Alden was actually offered to Ken and I first. Oh. And then, I wanted to do that movie so bad. But then they were like, "There's another project lined up for the both of you." Tapos while we were doing Bagani, nabalitaan ko that they offered it to Catherine and Alden. At first, they offered it to Catherine and Ken. Oh! And that scared the shit out of me. Yeah. I was like, "Why did they do that?" I asked them to save the project for me and Ken. Parang please wait first, because they told us then nung pinitch sami na hindi po din goin agad, kasi they have they have to develop it more. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, we'll wait for it. Please hold it for us. And then nalalaman, nalaman ko na lang bigla that they were offering it to Ken still, but with Catherine. Yeah. And I was scared that, like, after Bagani, and then when I do Darna, wala na yung wala na yung Liz Ken. And for me, I didn't want to do that to the fans, but also Ken was my comfort zone. And it wasn't till later that I realized, oh my God, ang dami kong hindi nagawa sa career ko. And that's why everybody. I think um, takes for granted my talent or acting capabilities because they've only seen me in a love team. Do you think my tampo ang Liz Ken fans with your recent career move? Since in the meantime, they won't get to see you and Ken together in a project. Yes, I know they're a tampo for sure. <laughs> it's kind of sad that people think hindi na tuloy yung mga project namin because of me when that's not true. Like even with the cancellation of Make It With You, I was willing to continue it. And it was very, it was an uncertain time. Yeah. Tapos, the story wouldn't have made sense anymore because all the senior citizens na kasama namin hindi pa din magtaping. Lahat ng bata hindi pa din. And so majority of the cast were seniors or kids. Yeah. And then so kaya nila wala nila kaming yeah kaming nila wala nila. And I just I was like it doesn't make sense for us to continue the story and I don't want to work on it para lang masabi na may ginagawa. Yeah, that's music. People have been seeing you and James read together. Did you ever have a thing with James? No. Uh, why did I feel nervous though? <laughs> <laughs> James and I know pa rin siya. <laughs> I get so nervous about questions like why? that because people already assume the worst about me because I haven't been posting anything about Ken. We haven't been seen in a Pero project. Why? Can I ask you why? I'm staying away from the love team thing. Yeah, I was, you, you want to create your own career yes. outside of the love team. I, yes. I respect that. So like, it's hard because everything that I try to do now as a solo artist isn't being taken seriously or like isn't being respected and it's seen as something negative. It's They think I'm like some type of wild child now just because I'm not in a love team or I'm not seen around the same man constantly. When that isn't actually normal, to be honest. Love teams are only is a phenomenon only created in the Philippines, only existing in the Philippines. And to box a woman like that is so dangerous, actually, for their mental health and yeah. also for their growth, not just as a professional but as an individual. Yeah, and so. I stay away from that. But me and James, no, we never had a thing. I was never. I never. At least na clarify na nila isa to. Na kabano ko kuya. Pati ko pa rin freeze to. Spike yung heart rate. Showbiz top three.